Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com coming to you live from San Diego, California, where today we're going to have a contest between hand fishing Sparky and fish tape fishing Sparky. That is the Sparky on your left. We'll be fishing three 12 gauge wires through nine feet of EMT conduit with one 90 degree band and two box offset bands. And the Sparky on your right will be doing the same, the same exact task using the new Klein 50 foot multi-groove non-conductive fiberglass tape. First, both Sparkies will start out by grabbing a green, a white, and a black wire from the wire caddy with the black wire having a couple inches of insulation stripped off of it. The wires will be staggered slightly with the bare wire in front. Now the wires will be taped together with black electrician's tape. The two inches of stripped wire will now be bent back and compressed to make a loop. This is what the wire leader now looks like. Both competitors will pull out a few feet of wire from the wire caddy to give them head starts. And now for the competition. On your mark, get set, go. Hand wiring Sparky takes his three wires and feeds them directly into his conduit while fish tape Sparky must take the extra step of running his fiberglass fish tape down to the receptacle box where he will hook his tape to the wires and then pull them back up to the light box. The question is, will fish tape Sparky be able to make up the time spent running the fish tape to the receptacle box before hand wire fishing Sparky can finish his task? Another question is, will hand wire fishing Sparky get his wires hung up in the EMT without a fish tape to help? Hand wire Sparky has his wires coming out in the light box. They have to come out a full eight inches though. So he climbs up the ladder and pulls them out. Doesn't quite get them out all the way. That's about six inches. He needs a few more inches. One more push from the receptacle box and he's got it. Full eight inches. He won 51 seconds flat. And here's fish tape Sparky. He's having a little problem. He has to handle the fish tape and the wire simultaneously. But it's not a problem. That's a great fish tape. He's got that Klein fish tape with a 13 inch diameter it really winds up the wire really fast so he's gonna step up on the ladder to get a little extra leverage and he's got to come down though because the wires uh, need to be pulled out from the wire caddy they need to be pulled once in a while there you go okay he's got he's got some slack there now he'll grab the fish tape and wind it up with that big 13 inch diameter he'll step up the ladder for a little bit of extra leverage and there's the wires there they are right there it is one minute and 36 seconds. The moral to the story is that even if you own the best fish tape made, sometimes it's faster to just fish your wires by hand. You'll have to assess the run each time because on longer runs with more pins, you will need to use the fish tape. Also, another consideration is that a fiberglass tape adds protection from accidentally electrified lines. I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein multi-groove, non-conductive fiberglass fish tape in the 50 foot, 100 foot, and 200 foot models. I'll also put a link for the new Klein digital and magnetic level, which will help you get your EMT runs level and plumb. I'll put a link for the Klein hybrid pliers. I'll also put links for the Klein 25 foot fish tape, which is under $13, for a Klein 50 foot fish tape, which is under $20, and I'll put links for two kinds of Klein fish tape lubricant. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.